It's Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi everybody, and welcome to a really special video. Now, what we're looking at is the breakdown of a very basic figure. Now, a lot of times in these uh, videos, you see me, um, you see me start off figures, um, and uh, usually by the, th by the time the clock clock grabs us, you know we're we're, we're not at the end. Um, so this time, I thought we'd do things a little different. And I, I pre-drew this breakdown, this, this rough mannequin. And this is how I, I would normally uh, start a figure. So I pre-drew this just to get us through this preliminary part. And now, um, now at this stage, once, I, once I've sketched out, and, and if you look at this guy, if you take a close look at him, yeah, he's just very roughly sketched in very roughly i'm not i'm not worried about details i'm not w worried about anatomy things like that i just very quickly just drew all over him um all over the body and i got down a very very basic body uh and i said this in my last video whenever i'm drawing uh certain characters uh that might have accessories armor detail later uh, I draw them initially as though they were naked, really. Just a, and yeah, we don't get anatomically detailed. But I draw them as though they're just this very basic, almost action figure mannequin body. And action figure is a very apt term, uh, very appropriate for our lesson today because what we're, uh, the guy we're drawing, this is a G.I. Joe, real American hero. This is uh, my favorite Joe, which was uh, Clutch. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about a little bit more about me and G.I. Joe in a in a bit. Um, so at this stage now, uh, I, this guy's ready for some detail. He's ready for some accessories. So I have uh, off camera here. I've got some some G.I. Joe. Uh, uh, reference and I'm ready to make this guy look more like the, the finished character that I want him to be um, now as I as I usually say uh, I draw a little bit darker than I normally would just because I want you guys to, to be able to see what I'm doing so that's why I just went in with my eraser and I picked up some of this graphite so um, now now I'm ready to apply certain details to this guy, such as his helmet. And the Joe's always had a very particular helmet. And so I'm, I'm laying this out. Now, um, and I have a video actually on uh, helmets and, and headgear, hats. Um, and my, my rule for that is to always draw them without the headgear first. Without the headgear, just draw, even without hair, just draw a very basic head and um, add the headgear over that. And that way, uh, what you're doing is you're, you're, the headgear will sit more naturally on his head and it will, um, you'll be giving him a, a, enough cranium enough uh, enough of, of a skull you, the, you won't be making the head too small i'm going in i'm noodling him a little bit giving him some features um i want to give him the, the proper characterization uh as i said this is clutch from the from the gi joe uh the real american hero cartoon and comic book and uh you might be saying who's clutch Clutch was the guy who drove the Vamp. Remember the Vamp, the their Jeep with the, the cannons on the back of it? Now, having grown up in the, uh, in the uh, 70s and early 80s, mid 80s, um, I, was, I was right at the right place at the right time to be taken in by uh, G.I. Joe. I, I just, you know, that came along and um, I thought it was great. So, uh, 
end. I got I got into it right at the beginning. Uh, so what was that? 1982, I think. Um, so for me, you know, a lot of people when they talk about GI Joe, they're all about Snake Eyes and um, and. Uh, Duke and, uh, you know, Flint and Lady J, some of the characters who came along later in the cartoon. Um, but me, me, I was, I'm all about what is known as the original 13. Now, the original 13 are those first 13 figures that were put out by Hasbro in, uh, I think it was 1982. I'm pretty sure it was 82. Please correct me in the comments below if I'm if I'm wrong. Um, so, and those those first that original thirteen, uh, a lot of people, a lot of uh, Joe Joe fans who came along later and, and fell in love with the the other more colorful uh, team members, they see the original thirteen as kind of boring because really you know most of the original thirteen was built on um, one body, you know, just the same body, just painted uh, maybe a slightly different way. Um, so, you know, when people think of the original 13, a lot of people just see them as uh, 13, 13 guys, um, really, Really, 11 guys in green and uh, Scarlet and Snake guys. Uh, they, they, were, they were distinct uh, among that original, that original 13. Um, but to me, I mean, the, the reason I, I love that lineup is, um, well, number one, they were the team I first met when I first discovered G.I. Joe. Um, but they were also the most military of them all. And that, that's what I loved about G.I. Joe is that it was, yeah, it had its fantastic element to it. Um, it could get a little sci-fi-ish. I mean, geez, in the original 13, you have a guy whose who shtick is to, uh, to, to, to work the laser, the laser gun. Um, and that was Flash. And we may, we may talk about Flash sometime. Um, but, it, you know, it, it was still pretty much just this, this military unit, uh, of, of elite specialists who fought Cobra, who fought terrorists. Um, and really, if you, you know, I, I was a big fan of the Marvel comic book and, uh, you know, I read it regularly. Those early issues, um, the interesting thing about those early issues is, yeah, they focused on the original 13. Not every issue had uh, the entire team in it. They would often just deal with small clusters of uh, the team. And they also didn't always fight Cobra in every single issue. They, they really had a, a, a little bit more of a, of a diverse... Uh, uh, story going on there and most of the stories were self-contained uh within the single issue so they you know you didn't have to read uh the book endlessly and and it still wasn't the soap opera it would turn into later um okay now getting back to the the drawing a little bit i'm, I'm fanboying out here over gi joe um and hopefully uh hopefully you'll find that interesting if not, please uh, say in the comments below that you hope I shut up more and you're, you don't care about my childhood memories. Um, and I will certainly be happy to shut up about that. Um, actually, I probably have no control and I, I will continue to ramble forever. Um, okay, so in terms of drawing, now what I'm doing is I'm adding all these details, all these little details. I'm not being a, a thousand percent accurate here because, uh, well, number one, I, I just feel like drawing him the way I like to draw him. Um, but number two, um, you know, I'm just trying to keep things moving uh, for us. So I may, I may tweak Clutch a little later, um, you know, and just, just to make him a little bit more accurate. I'm also working off of... Um, 
those of you who re, who know the figures and the history of the figures, you'll know that uh, uh, this is one of the later releases of Clutch. Um, I believe this was part of the, the 25th anniversary series that I'm looking at. Um, so he, he may not be a thousand percent, uh, you know, looking like the, the original Clutch from 1982, 83. Now you may say, why Clutch? Well, again, I was a big fan of the original 13. And, um, one thing about the original 13, because they were essentially like 13 guys or 11 guys and, and a, and a, a redhead chick and a ninja, um, you know, they, they really needed distinct personalities in order to separate from each other. And Clutch had that. Plus, um, Clutch immediately won me over by being, uh, according to his file card, uh, he was from New Jersey, which is uh, my my home state where I live in now, where I am as I as I record this. Uh, Clutch, according to his file card, his real name was Lance Steinberg, which I didn't put together until uh, much later. Um, Actually, I never put it together. Somebody had to tell me this, but it, it was kind of a, a a name inspired very much by uh, another famous New Jerseyan, uh, Bruce Springsteen. So Lance J Lance J Steinberg, I believe, was his his name. Um, so Clutch is is a New Jersey guy, but he also had a very distinct personality uh, in those in those early comic books. Um, he was always kind of like the, the irreverent, wise-cracking, sloppy guy. Uh, he was a mechanic. He was a grease monkey. He was a bit of a greaser, too. Um, he was always shown uh, to have this sort of a testy, uh, love-hate relationship with Scarlet, who was always uh, offended by, uh, by Clutch's uh, crudeness and... and sexism um very mild sexism really tended to call girls chicks um so i'm, I'm trying to get a little bit of, of clutch's happy-go-lucky attitude uh in his pose a little bit uh another thing i may want to do uh later off camera is go back in and really detail um clutch has a couple of weapons uh, for example, he's got a, it looks like he has a, a 45 strapped to his boot. So what I may do is later, because I don't want to go into, um, I don't want to go too far, you know, afield and uh, go into uh, doing a nice technically accurate 45. Um, that may be, that may be a topic for another video. Um... So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna you know block it in right now, much like I'm blocking in his feet, and I may tweak that later on off camera just to get him a little bit more uh, more to a finished degree. Um, I may what I may do is I may take clutch, finish him off, and I may uh, ink him and then do a, a color job on him later. Uh, I may also I may want to uh may get inspired and decide to do a uh a bunch of joes much like i did my recent uh, legionnaires of the day um but you tell me what do you think do you want to see more joes um if you do let me know in the comment section below uh tune into my social media instagram and facebook and you can see clutch as i develop him him further um and I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. And I will see you guys in the next video. And uh, go, Joe. And keep drawing. Bye-bye, everybody.